Mission 8. Oh, well, the king of AIDS. Take a guess what this fucker is going to do today. Run like a coward fucking bitch? Maybe. Uh, you know, I do really want to fill up the Devil Trigger Gauge and then we'll go for blue orbs. Yeah. I actually really like that. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep building up our orbs. And get that purple next. Get that perp. Speaking of codeine and purple and scissor, Pimp C, what's up? Beautiful fur coat, brother. Well, well, what have we here? Do you have to ask? Are you a villain from Onimusha? Hmm. Maybe another time. Those are some sick gloves he has, too. He has dueling gloves on. That's the shit where you, you take your glove off, slap someone in the face, and be like, I challenge you to a duel. See me outside, fucker. Alright, you might notice how I conveniently just am not talking about this boss. There's a reason for that. As intimidating as this, you know, goat monster from Drag Me to Hell looks, um... He's a giganto pussy. So we're just gonna, you know, jump over here and uh, we'll let him do his native dance over there. Meanwhile, there's about a million other things I should talk about because there's not a lot going on here. That's basically all this boss fight is. He just stands there kind of bullshitting while we shoot the fuck out of him. Like, this is another problem with Devil May Cry 2. In Devil May Cry 1, 3, and 4, really, the boss fights are creative, there's shit going on, but here in Devil May Cry 2, this is all you gotta do. Like, we're just standing here shooting the fuck out of him. And we'll just go until our Devil Trigger bar gets high enough, and then we'll use the Devil Trigger and fuck him up. If you remember, the infected chopper went a very similar way to this. Like, look how intimidating this guy is, man. You would think that he would, you know, have some sort of awesome attack, some sort of unique strategy required to beat him. No, no, no. Just, uh, mash that shoot button. Send his ass down to Chinatown. That's all that's required here. Like, look at this shit. So anyway, back to the discussion from last video. <laughs> Dante vs. Blade, who are you taking? My bet is on Dante. I was thinking of an actor for Dante. Someone who, you know, like, you want, like, an asshole. Someone who's, like, sarcastic, you know. Think of, like, almost like a Draco Malfoy from Harry Potter type dude, but, like actually cool. Like, he was just a sniveling little bitch. I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna have to keep thinking about that. It's gotta be someone that you would just, like, want to punch in the face if you were fighting him. Alright, anyway, yeah, there goes that boss. Now, uh, that was some tough shit, huh? Dante's just like, whatever. Phantom was a lot tougher than you. Every fucking boss I fought. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, if they don't give me an S for damage this time, I'm gonna be fucking heated. Fantastic. Well, we got a lot of orbs for doing almost nothing, I'll tell you that much.